Human beings have been around for a very long time and throughout those years have left some incredible discoveries behind for future people to find. A mysterious hand imprint recently discovered carved into an over 1,000 year old moat surrounding Jerusalem's old city. From the haunting catacombs of Paris to the mummified crocodiles found within a tomb in Egypt. You'd be shocked at the kinds of things that archaeologists have discovered. Make sure to stick around until the end. You wouldn't want to miss out on a new Western Wall discovery. Here are 15 of the most incredible archaeological discoveries ever made. Number 15. Scientists found shocking sacrifice. This sacrifice site in Peru, which contained the remains of 30 children and 150 llamas, is a unique and historic discovery that has shed new light on the religious practices of the ancient cultures that inhabited the region. The site, located on the northern coast of Peru near the city of Trujillo, was discovered in 2011 by a team of archaeologists who were investigating the area for evidence of pre-Columbian cultures. The remains of the sacrifice site provide a glimpse into the religious beliefs beliefs and practices of the ancient cultures that inhabited the region, with the most notable of these being the Mochi people. The children and llamas appear to have been sacrificed as part of a religious ceremony, with the children being buried alongside the llamas in a large pit. The children were all between the ages of 5 and 14 and appeared to be in good health, leading researchers to believe that they were selected for sacrifice because of their perceived purity and innocence. The discovery the discovery of the sacrifice site has allowed an in-depth look into the Mochi people, which was known for its elaborate religious ceremonies and practices. The Mochi were one of the most advanced cultures of their time, known for their impressive architecture, pottery, and metalwork, and the discovery of the sacrifice site provides new insight into the depth of their religious beliefs and practices that have never been possible before now. Number 14, Catacombs of Paris. The Catacombs of Paris are a vast network of underground tunnels and chambers located beneath the streets of the French capital. The catacombs were created in the late 18th century as a solution to the problem of overflowing cemeteries which had become a health hazard for the city's residents. The catacombs consist of more than 170 miles of tunnels lined with the bones of over 6 million Parisians. Arranged in an orderly and artistic fashion, the bones were transformed to the catacombs from the city's cemeteries and organized into intricate designs, creating a unique and haunting spectacle. Visitors to the catacombs are able to explore a small section of the tunnels, which have been turned into into a museum and tourist attraction. The experience is both eerie and fascinating as visitors are transported back in time to a world of death and decay. The tunnels are lit only by dim lamps, adding to the sense of mystery and intrigue. All perfectly preserved. Found with him was an array of artifacts, including small pouches containing his baby teeth and nail clips. Number 13, frozen intact child sacrificed mummy. The children of Yuyayako are three mummified Inca children who were discovered on the Yuyayako volcano in the Argentine Andes in 1999. These children were sacrificed to the gods as part of a religious ceremony more than 500 years ago. The children, two girls and one boy, are estimated to have been between 6 and 15 years old when they were sacrificed. They were found perfectly preserved, still dressed in their ceremonial robes and adorned with jewelry at an altitude of over 22,000 feet on the Yuyayako volcano. The discovery of the children of Yuyayako has provided invaluable insights into the beliefs and rituals of the Inca civilization. It has shed light on the practice of human sacrifice, which was central to the religious beliefs of the Inca Empire. The mummies have also provided insight into the lives of these children and the status they held in Inca society. The children of Yuyayako are now housed in a museum in Salta, Argentina, where they are displayed for the public to view. The preservation of these mummies is considered a remarkable feat, given the harsh weather conditions at such a high altitude. Number 12. 
decapitated skeletons in the UK. In September 2021, a group of archaeologists made a shocking discovery in the United Kingdom when they uncovered a large burial site containing the remains of over 40 individuals who had all been decapitated. It gives us this amazing chance to learn about our past in a way that we haven't really been able to before. The site, located in Durham, is believed to date back to the Anglo-Saxon period between the 5th and 7th centuries AD. The discovery of this large number of decapitated skeletons has raised many questions about the history and culture of the Anglo-Saxon period. Some experts believe that the individuals may have been executed as punishment for crimes, while others suggest that the beheadings may have been part of a ritual or sacrifice. The significance of this discovery lies in the fact that large-scale execution and beheadings were not previously thought to have been a part of Anglo-Saxon culture. It challenges the pre previously held notions about the level of violence and punishment in this period of history and sheds light on the beliefs and customs of the Anglo-Saxons. The Durham burial site is currently being extensively studied and analyzed with experts working to determine the exact cause of death and the identities of the individuals. It is hoped that further analysis will provide additional insights into the Anglo-Saxon period and the lives of these individuals. Number 11. Whole Skull Wall and Aztec Ruins in the Middle of Mexico City In 2021, a tower of human skulls was discovered by archaeologists in Mexico at the Templo Mayor archaeological site in Mexico City. The tower, believed to be over 700 years old, was built by the Aztecs and is thought to have held the remains of captured warriors and prisoners of war. The discovery of the Tower of Skulls is a significant find, providing new insights into the religious beliefs and rituals of the Aztec civilization. The Aztecs were known to practice human sacrifice, and it's believed that the skulls in the tower were used as a symbol of the power and strength of the Aztec Empire. The Tower of Skulls is one of the largest such structures ever discovered, and its preservation is considered a remarkable feat. The skulls, which have been well preserved despite their age, are now being studied and analyzed to determine the identities of the individuals and the specific rituals and beliefs associated with the tower. The discovery of the Tower of Skulls has sparked widespread interest and has been a topic of discussion among archaeologists and historians. Historians. It is a testament to the rich cultural heritage of Mexico and the ongoing importance of preserving and studying the past. Right, let's go find some more dead people. Yes. Number 10. Archaeologists found hanging coffins in China and the Philippines. The hanging coffins of Sagada are a unique and fascinating aspect of the cultural heritage of the Philippines. Because of the influence of Christianity, this burial practice has largely stopped, but it does still go on today. The coffins, which were suspended from cliffs and caves, have been used as burial sites for over 2,000 years by the Igorot people of Sagada in the mountain province of northern Philippines. The practice of hanging coffins is thought to have originated from a belief that the dead would be closer to the gods and their ancestors in the afterlife if their coffins were suspended in the air. The coffins were also believed to be protected from wild animals and other threats to the ground. The hanging coffins of Sagada are considered a remarkable feat of engineering and a testament to the ingenuity of the Igorot people. The coffins, which can weigh up to 100 pounds, are suspended using ropes made of rattan and are attached to the cliffs using wooden pegs. The hanging coffins of Sagada have been recognized as an important cultural and historical site, and in 2018 they were declared a national culture treasure by the Philippine government. The site is now a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world who are fascinated by this unique and ancient practice. Number 9. Notre Dame Sarcophagus The Notre Dame Sarcophagus is a remarkable piece of medieval art and one of the most important artifacts housed in the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France. The sarcophagus, which is believed to date back to the 12th century, is made of carved marble and is considered one of the finest examples of Romanesque sculpture in existence. 
The Notre Dame sarcophagus is believed to have been used as the final resting place of an important person, possibly a member of the royal family or a high-ranking church official. The intricate carvings on the sarcophagus depict scenes from the life of Christ in the Last Judgment, offering a glimpse into the religious beliefs and practices of medieval Europe. Unfortunately, it's unknown who exactly was laid to rest within the sarcophagus, and it's unlikely that we'll ever figure it out. Number 8. Ancient 8-Foot Japanese Sword An ancient 8-foot long sword has recently been discovered in Japan, offering a fascinating glimpse into the country's rich cultural heritage. The sword, which is believed to date back to the Kamakura period, 1185 to 1333, was found in a local Japanese temple and is considered one of the largest and best preserved examples of ancient Japanese swords. The sword, which weighs approximately 15 pounds, is made of high carbon steel and features intricate designs and patterns along the blade. The hilt is adorned with gold, silver, and copper, offering a testament to the wealth and power of the person who once owned the sword. The exact owner of this sword is unknown, but it had to be someone incredibly powerful, as even swinging such a weapon requires more strength than the average man can muster. Number 7. Mummified Crocodiles in Egyptian Tomb Recently, a team of archaeologists discovered a fascinating find within an ancient Egyptian tomb, mummified crocodiles. The discovery offers a unique glimpse into the religious and cultural beliefs of ancient Egyptians who revered the crocodile as a sacred animal. The mummified crocodiles were found in a well-preserved state wrapped in linen and adorned with intricate markings and symbols. The symbols, which are believed to have religious or magical significance, offer a glimpse into the beliefs and practices of the ancient Egyptians. In ancient Egypt, the crocodile was revered as a powerful symbol of the god Sobek, who was associated with strength, fertility, and protection. Get closer. There you go. Oh my god. Whoa. Jesus, he came right up to me. The mummification of crocodiles was an important aspect of religious rituals, with the animals being mummified and buried in tombs to ensure their safe passage into the afterlife. The discovery of the mummified crocodiles is a valuable contribution to our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture and religion. The well-preserved state of the mummies and the intricate markings and symbols on the linens offer a unique glimpse into the beliefs and practices of the ancient Egyptians. So what we really wanted to look at was the street because these are under-examined contexts, but they're really important in terms of the lived experience of people in ancient cities. Number 6. 5,000-Year-Old Tavern in Iraq Recently, a 5,000-year-old tavern has been discovered in the ancient city of Nuzi in present-day Iraq. The discovery offers a unique glimpse into the daily life and culture of the people who lived in the ancient city and is considered a major find for archaeologists and historians studying the region. The tavern, which dates back to the late Uruk period, was found in a well-preserved state complete with rooms, courtyards, and storage facilities. Archaeologists were also able to find evidence of food and drink, including beer jugs and dishes, providing valuable insight into the diet and social habits of the people who lived in the city. The discovery of the 5,000-year-old tavern is significant as it offers a glimpse into the daily life and culture of the ancient city of Nuzi. The well-preserved state of the tavern and the artifacts found within it provide valuable information for researchers and historians studying the region and offer a unique window into the past. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This image was taken in Lebanon and seems to depict two men that are working to carve some sort of discovery out of a clay wall. They seem to have found a collection of statues, although it's unclear who the statues are supposed to be representing. 
There are many people that are always quite wary of discoveries like this because the statues are not directly human-like. This has led to the assumption that these are depictions of aliens that used to live on Earth's surface and who helped to further human progress. Do you believe that these statues represent humans, or do you think they could represent a long-forgotten alien race? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriberpick and let us know what you think. Now, on to the next topic. Number 5. Terracotta Army the Terracotta Army is a group of thousands of life-sized clay soldiers, horses, and chariots that were discovered in the Mausoleum of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, in the 1970s. The discovery of the Terracotta Army is considered one of the greatest archaeological finds of the 20th century and offers a unique glimpse into the history and culture of ancient China. The Terracotta Army was created to accompany the first emperor into the afterlife and to protect him from from any harm. The soldiers, horses, and chariots were each individually crafted with varying facial features and clothing providing a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of the ancient Chinese artisans who created them. The Terracotta Army is located in the city of Xi'an in China's Shaanxi province and has become a major tourist attraction, attracting millions of visitors each year. The site is considered an important part of China's cultural heritage and has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In recent years, the Terracotta Army has undergone a significant restoration and conservation efforts with many of the warriors and horses being repaired and placed back on display for visitors to admire. The restoration of the Terracotta Army has not only helped to preserve this important piece of cultural heritage, but also shed new light on the techniques and materials used by ancient Chinese artisans. Number 4. Archaeologists found the very first American in an underwater cave in Mexico. The skeleton of a teenage girl known as Naya was recently discovered in an underwater cave system in the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. The discovery of Naya's remains is considered one of the most important finds in the history of the Americas and offers new insights into the origins of the first Americans. Naya's skeleton was found in near-perfect condition with only a few bones missing. Radiocarbon dating of the remains indicates that she lived over 12,000 years ago, making her one of the oldest human skeletons found in the Americas. Analysis of Naya's DNA has shown that she is most closely related to contemporary indigenous populations in Australia, Melanesia, and the Andaman Islands, suggesting that the first Americans had a close genetic relationship with populations in Asia and the Pacific. This is in contrast to previous theories that the first Americans were solely descended from Siberian populations. The discovery of Naya's skeleton has also provided important information about the physical characteristics and adaptations of the first Americans. Her remains indicate that the first Americans had a unique combination of features, including a cranial shape that is distinct from both modern Native Americans and East Asians. This shows that Americans were actually quite a bit more intertwined with other cultures than we initially believed. Number 3 proof our ancestors were cannibals. An archaeological dig in the ancient city of El Sadan in the eastern Mediterranean has revealed evidence of early human cannibalism. The discovery of human bones with marks consistent with butchery and evidence of cooking provide strong evidence that early human populations in the area practiced cannibalism. The remains were found alongside animal bones which showed similar butchery marks, suggesting that early humans in the area were processing both animal and human flesh for consumption. The discovery of pottery fragments near the bones indicates that the remains were likely cooked and consumed as part of a communal meal. The evidence from El Sadan is consistent with other archaeological finds that suggest that cannibalism was a widespread practice among early human populations. However, it is important to note that cannibalism was likely not the norm and was practiced in specific circumstances, such as during times of extreme food scarcity or as part of cultural or religious rituals. Number 2. Atlet Yam 
the perfectly preserved drowned city. The ancient city of Atlit Yam, located off the coast of Israel, has been recently discovered and is considered one of the most well-preserved underwater archaeological sites in the world. The city dates back to around 7,000 to 9,000 years ago and provides a unique glimpse into the lives of early human populations in the eastern Mediterranean. The city was discovered in 1984 by a team of divers and since then numerous excavations have been conducted to uncover the history and architecture of the site. The city covers an area of over 40 acres which includes a series of well-preserved houses, public buildings, and fishing structures. Analysis of the remains of the city has provided valuable information about the lives of the people who lived there. The city was built near a freshwater spring, providing a reliable source of water for the inhabitants. The remains of fishing gear and large quantities of fish bones indicate that the city was also involved in fishing and maritime activities. The preservation of Atlet Yam is considered to be due to its location, which was covered by water and sediment providing it from damage and erosion. The discovery of the city provides an unprecedented opportunity to study the lives of early human populations in the eastern Mediterranean and to better understand the development of early human society and the challenges they faced. Number 1. New Western Wall Discovery The Western Wall, located in the Old City of Jerusalem, is one of the most sacred sites in Judaism and a major pilgrimage destination for Jews from all around the world. In recent years, a number of new discoveries have been made at the Western Wall that shed light on the history of the site and the city of Jerusalem as a whole. One of the most significant discoveries at Western Wall was made in 2013 when a 2,000-year-old ritual bath, or mikveh, was uncovered during excavations. The mikveh, which was used for purification rituals in ancient times, provides valuable insight into the religious practices of the Jews in the Second Temple period. Another important discovery was made in 2018 when a team of archaeologists uncovered a network of ancient cisterns and water systems beneath the Western Wall Plaza. The cisterns were used to store rainwater and to supply the Second Temple, are considered to be some of the largest and most sophisticated water systems of their time. The Western Wall also holds significance for other religious groups, including Christians and Muslims. In recent years, a number of discoveries have been made that shed light on the Islamic and Christian history of the site, including a number of archaeological fragments and inscriptions. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.